two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. So we are a STEM-based program, science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, we partner with UW Mentors, and together we've created this partnership to bring STEM to mostly youth of color. I think this project is all about educational equity. The whole, the whole purpose is to say that all youth, um, regardless of their ability to pay, deserve opportunities to learn in, in STEM settings, and especially in out-of-school settings where we know that from kind of evidence from folks who kind of choose STEM professions as their own careers, they say that they spend a lot of time outside of school exploring those things. And so we know that that's part of the equity equation is offering those opportunities. And this quarter, we're going more in depth. So we're doing coding, we're doing biology, um, but more in depth, we're doing rocket science, we're doing wood shop, and we're doing things like photography and working with digital media. I think it's important because in school, it's kind of a strict curriculum. It's you have to learn this by this time and you have to get this grade, but in the kind of environment we're giving them, it's giving them access to something that they want to learn as opposed to they have to learn. Personally, I think a, 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 these kids have a lot of potential and I think if we had 10% of you know people in the engineering curriculum and science curriculum going out into our communities, these communities, like we would see, we. We need these kids, we need these people in our communities, we need them, this, these are the people we are building these systems for. I think we're doing a really great job at planting the seeds, you know, and hope that it grows to something bigger and better. Being in this program uh, has, a lot, you know, enlightened me into all these, you know, social injustice issues, and I think that is also very valuable just to know and to learn about it. Once we address the issues of access, we also have to help youth recognize themselves and their communities inside of the work that they're doing in STEM. And so I think that this project tries to address both of those issues, which I see as really important to changing the face of STEM professions and to diversifying the workforce that helps us kind of innovate and move into the 21st century and beyond. Oh, oh, oh.